Chess is a centuries-old game steeped in tradition and strategy. But a new generation of kings and queens is taking the chess world by storm. Prodigies from India are making their mark on the international stage. Oh my God! To achieve something big for myself and my country, it's, uh, it's very special. No other country has produced as many grandmasters in the last decade, leaving behind traditional chess powerhouses like Russia and the USA. That's quite rare because you feel that stars are aligning or something. Okay, ready players? Across the country, players as young as four years old are flocking to chess academies. The most prestigious tournament in chess has come to India. The home of chess. 101 East goes inside the high-stakes world of Indian chess and meets the star players reshaping the game, one move at a time. The news is out. Someone special is about to make an appearance at this park in Toronto, Canada and these fans have come to catch a glimpse of their idol. What are you waiting for? Gukesh. Gukesh. And we got to know that he's going to meet us next. Gukesh! He's not a movie star or football legend, but a 17-year-old boy from India who happens to be one of the best young chess players in the world. His name is Domaraju Gukesh. I would say we are a fan of chess and chess growing so much in India and it is becoming a superpower now. Oh, we got some cake for him so that we congratulate him. Gukesh, we are proud of you! Indian chess fans are desperate to get up close to their idol. Are you sure which age did you start? Yeah, I uh, started at seven. Seven. Congratulations. In 2019, Gukesh became a grandmaster at just 12 years old, marking his arrival as a leading star of the chess world. So how do you feel, Gukesh? Uh, amazing. Right, we're done. Nice to receive so much love. Just 24 hours earlier, Gukesh created history. He became the youngest player ever to win the prestigious candidates tournament. Held every two years, the winner of this competition challenges the reigning world champion. It's an opportunity to steal the title. And now, you start your clocks and enjoy your round. Only the top players in the world earn a seat at these eight tables. And this year, five Indians have qualified more than ever before. Known as the golden generation of Indian chess, they include 22-year-old Ramesh Babu Vishali, her brother, Pragnananda, 18, and Vidit Gujarati, 29. But it's Gukesh, the tournament's youngest competitor, who stuns the chess world. Gold medal from India, Gukesh. Today, Gukesh is the king of Indian chess. Back across the Atlantic in Chennai, we're meeting two siblings who also symbolize India's growing prowess in the game, the Ramesh Babus. <laughs> Vishali and Pragnananda, fondly called Prag. Winner of multiple global titles, they're the only brother sister duo in the world to be grandmasters. In 2023, the family shot to sudden fame when Prague took on the world number one, Norwegian Magnus Carlsen, in the World Cup final. I remember after, immediately after the match, I had like a bunch of interviews with uh, journalists just after I lost, which is kind of funny, but also uh, because usually the winner gets all the interviews and stuff. I was, I lost the match, but still I had to do like 
I did maybe like 20 interviews or something. So many people watching, um, watching it live. Yeah, it, uh, it definitely a big moment uh, in my journey so far. Prague and his older sister Vishali were calculating their first moves in kindergarten when most children are learning to count numbers. I started because of my sister. Uh, she was the first one in the family to play chess. Started learning the rules at the age of uh, three. First hand, I was obviously like very, very stronger than him, and uh, he was very talented from early on. And yeah, he was winning his age group events, like he won under seven nationals, like uh, qualified to World Youth Championship, everything with full score. Like he was really talented, and uh, soon he, uh, he was like much stronger than me. The siblings say they motivate each other. It's more about uh, pushing each other. Uh, you know, one goes ahead and uh, he tries to get there and the other guy sees this and uh, that's how it's like, more like pushing each other forward. I don't think we are in competition. As I said, we take inspiration from each other. It, it was just like a sibling rivalry, I would say. Like Soon, the pair was unstoppable, collecting dozens of trophies in tournaments across the world. Behind their success is their mother, Nagalakshmi. She was the one who gave Vishali her first chess set, starting the family on a journey to international success. Prague's quick rise in the game made waves across the nation, reaching the Indian Prime Minister. The chess star, his mother, and his father, Ramesh Babu, were invited to the Prime Minister's residence. Didn't really expect it would be so like casual and uh, it would be like a normal conversation. I, Prime Minister was asking about uh, everyone uh, talking to my father and mother about how do I train, how do I play tournaments, about the tournament and uh, also was giving some suggestion to me about some meditation and things. Narendra Modi shared Prague's success with his 98 million social media followers. For him, Prague is proof of India's power on the world stage. Throughout history, chess has often been caught in political crossfire. It symbolizes a war where two armies fight to capture the enemy's king. During the Cold War, the Soviets and the Americans made the chessboard their battleground with little space for other players until Vishwanathan Anand stepped up to the board. The Soviet Union was the dominant power when I was a teenager. They could literally beat the rest of the world team for many, many years afterwards. And they were incredibly strong. Anand started playing chess with his mother when he was six. In 1988, at the age of 18, he was crowned India's first Grand Master. It was a big deal. It was really a kind of um, a mental barrier almost, because the obvious question for so many years was, why don't we have any Grand Masters? In 1995, Anand became the first Indian to contest the World Championship, playing against the Russian star Garry Kasparov, even beating him in one match. Suddenly, India, where chess is believed to have originated, had a new generation of fans. It was followed because there was something to follow. There was someone to follow. And that is a very, very important uh, uh, factor. You can see every sport that does well in India, there is someone to root for. He would go on to win five world championships. I am uh, very proud when uh, so many people say that uh, I'm the reason they started chess and so on. I, I, it makes me very happy. Today, the nation is home to more than 32,000 players rated by the International Chess Federation. Anand's home state, Tamil Nadu, is considered the country's chess mecca. Most of India's top players come from this southern state. Its capital city, Chennai, is home to more than 60 chess academies and clubs. But one group of schools, called Velamo, stands above all. Here, at the tender age of five, children launch their dreams of becoming professional players. 
This is where stars like Prague, Vishal and Gukesh honed their skills. Sir, a class sir. Okay, ready players? Good morning all. Yeah. So everybody knows movements of the chess? Yes. Movements of the pieces? Yes. Names of the pieces? Yes. The rook and go. This school has trained more than 2,000 players in the last two decades. Right. OK. Another 500 new students enrolled in the last year. OK. It's demand because India is a chess <laughs> The man behind the school's success is Velevan Subia, the chess coordinator. He says he needs four key ingredients. First one, students. Next, coaches. Third, Parent, fourth one, our finance. In the normal me, correct, our college is na, nalla success pamla. Ready, players, all the best. Start your game. The financial barrier to enter the chess world is initially low. You only need a board and 32 pieces. But going global is a whole new ball game. The school offers scholarships to those who show promise. Without this investment, competing internationally remains a distant dream for most students. Flights, hotels, travel insurance, the cost of international trips is a daily struggle for players like Savita Shribaska. Chess is not in a physical sport. It's about uh, being how mentally you are strong. I have a lot of chess friends. Uh, apart from them, I don't have any personal friends. Till now, chess has been my life. Savita spends more than six hours a day practicing her master strokes. She first heard the word checkmate at the age of four. Just a year later, she won her first medal. I don't really remember when it happened or how I felt. Because I was so young, I got it when I was five years old. Her first win came in a classical chess match that usually lasts five hours or more. But Savita earned her fame in faster versions of the game, Rapid and Blitz. In Rapid, each contestant has only 15 minutes to play all their moves. In Blitz, they have just three minutes each. You just have to play fast. You just have to be so good in in. in institution. Blitz is something which is totally opposite to classical chess. At 15, she became the youngest player ever to win a medal at the World Rapid Chess Championship, earning her the title Rapid Queen. Whatever I achieved, uh, I think, just to make them proud. So uh, I definitely wanted to uh, give them everything that I will be able to. We had a lot of financial problems, but my dad never cared about it. Like, he spent all the money on chess, like, without even knowing whether I will be a good chess player or not. It's a gamble, but worth the prize money, which can reach tens of thousands of dollars per tournament. Today, Savita and her family are praying for her success at the next international tournament in Uzbekistan. A huge responsibility now rests on her shoulders. A win would see her collect a whopping $40,000. Savi, 
பிளேசரோட கோட்டை அது பேக் எங்க என்னும் நாங்க வந்து என்னுடைய சேவிங் வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட இந்தியாக்குள்ள விளையாடுற அளவுக்கு தான் இருந்தது ஒரு ஸ்டேஜ் ஒரு டோர்னமெண்ட்டுக்கு மட்டும் எங்கக்கிட்ட பணம் இல்லை நகையை வந்து பார்க்கிங் பண் பேங்க்கில் வந்து வச்சு அந்த பணத்தை வச்சு தான் நாங்கள் டோர்னமெண்ட்டுக்கே போவோம் அதுக்கு அடுத்த ஸ்டேஜில் ஸ்டேஜ் மேலே கொஸ்டின் மார்க்காக தான் இருந்தது எங்களுக்கு அடுத்த லெவலுக்கு எப்படி கொண்டு போக போகிறேன் The financial battle to fund his daughter's passion is a familiar one to Baskar. என்ன <laughs> To support his daughter's career, Baskar sacrificed his own. He left his job as an electrician in Singapore and returned to Chennai. Now, he takes care of everything from travel logistics to tournament registrations, and most importantly, finding sponsors. A lifeline for Savita is her benefactor, a computer engineer and a chess lover who pays for her flights and hotels, but only for the next two years. To secure sponsorship in the future, she needs to keep winning tournaments like Uzbekistan. For Savita, a lot is at stake. It's prodigies like her who are driving India's passion for chess. And a young couple in Mumbai is feeding the public's fascination with the sports rising stars the online. The played is D5. You were to take your... Sagar Shah and Amruta Mokal were accomplished players themselves before they quit competing to start their own YouTube channel, Chess Base India, in 2015. Clearly, our focus was on growing chess in the country. So, Chess Base India's uh, tagline is powering chess in India. So wherever we found that there was something missing in the ecosystem of chess, we wanted to fill it up. Because Five years after they launched their chess channel, internet penetration skyrocketed across India. And more people looked for indoor hobbies during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now they have more than 1.6 million subscribers. It's sharp move, Amruta. Can you believe what has happened? Amruta here with some food. For you. For me. Amruta B5 has been played. Do you think Vidit will eat the pawn? <laughs> If you eat the food, it's maybe... It's a juicy even... pawn, guys. Vidit Gujarati looking uh, excited because, you know, greedy weedy. I greedy think he weedy. will take the pawn. He's We saying... have seen whenever he gets a pawn, a chance to pick a pawn. With their deep knowledge of the game and humorous commentary, the couple follows India's favorite chess players from tournament to tournament. Suddenly. Sagar and Amruta have special access to this world, a community that is often media shy and with little time to look beyond the black and white board. I think my role is more of a connector to the entire chess audience who is watching it and the top players whom many people adore. And somehow I'm right there in between where I can ask some questions. But I think that, uh, you know, people keep getting inspired through the stories of others and many of them have now become icons of the country Savita has arrived in the Uzbek city of Samarkand it's the night before the tournament and she's squeezing in some last minute practice this year uh, i have some pressure because last year i got a bronze and i as for myself i just try not to think about it and uh, Of course it's such a strong event so I'll always try my best. My dad is my dad. Uh you are a player? Yeah, I'm a player. You can go to this. With my dad? Uh your your dad must go to this. So we can meet each other. It's the day of the World Rapid Chess Championship. 
more than 250 players from nearly 50 countries will fight for the gold trophy. Including India's Prague, his sister Vishali, Arjun Erigesi, and world number one, Magnus Carlsen. Let's send rapid, it's really hard because uh, you won't get that much time to think about all those things. And uh, if you made a blunder, it's really like you, you just, you'll be playing within a second. So, yeah, like, so I think in those moments, I really feel difficult to come back to be normal again. Especially when you come under time pressure, you know, like the heartbeats, you can never, like, you, can, you can't even imagine. Yeah? For the next three days, each player must show strong opening strategies, resilience under stress, and most importantly, speed. Savita's up against a tough first opponent, the reigning world women's rapid champion. Outside, her father watches the action live. And back in India, her mother and grandparents don't miss a single move. To take home a medal, winning the next few rounds will be crucial for Savita. But in less than three minutes, her first match is over. A draw. She'll need to do better to keep her sponsorship money flowing. She immediately analyzes her game with her father, trying to figure out what went wrong. The rest of the tournament brings little improvement as Savita struggles against stronger opponents. She fails to make the top 10, a crushing defeat for the former world champion. Losing four to five games in a row, it's just definitely not me. Yeah, it was just horrible. When I lost back to back games, like I think I was just like, I was just with a back past, past memory. Like what I did wrong and what I could have done way more better than what I did. Now that she's back home, the Rapid Queen can finally slow down. This is the first time Savita's dipping her toes in the sea, even though she lives just 25 kilometers away. It's one of the many pleasures she missed growing up. When you are a child, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to take responsibility of anything. You, know, you can just live your life. That's something which I would like to have again. Being a child is it's so good. But when you are grown up, you have to do this, you have to do that. Definitely, if I have to prefer the childhood days or nowadays, I will definitely prefer childhood days. And uh, that's only because uh, you can just live your life without any pressure. But after all she sacrificed, Savita is determined to not let pressure stop her from pursuing her dreams. <laughs> like, I can't just keep on crying and let like, see what, uh, what all I have done. I wanted to become a grandmaster when I started playing chess, but um, now that uh, I wanted to achieve even more than that, once I become a women's world champion, then I will uh, really try to play a lot of open tournaments. So it's such a long journey, but I think it's possible. 